I'm Chase. And I'm Timothy. And this is Customer Service. And we're live. Timothy Grindle. How are we doing, buddy? Should have checked levels first. Watched you blow <laughs> that bitch out. <laughs> I did. I gave you a three, two, one count. You did give me a three, two, one, and then I, then you jumped right in, which was fine. But then you immediately blew the hell out of the. Plus, you still we got different mics. Yeah. Shout out again, uh, Hyde, Hyde Music, Music in Appleton, Wisconsin, the number one motherfucking homies. I'm sure that's the plug that they want. Yeah, um, like a family <laughs> music store. <laughs> but they helped us out. Um, so we got new mics. But Chase still uses his like he's in a hardcore band and puts his mouth. I watch him get closer and closer and closer to it, but it doesn't. <laughs> we don't need to do that anymore. The way that I just came in is uh I, I don't know that you'll know this i know it because of mike my old roommate chris matthews from msnbc <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying his lips are always wet yep his <laughs> lips are always wet. <laughs> my, my buddy uh my buddy tyler who you met he did a really good chris matthews impression i remember when one night he did it and i do, I, wa- I wasn't ready for it and it's one of those things where like I don't like. I don't think he realized that I would know Chris Matthews, and I didn't think that he would do a Chris Matthews impression. But sure. when it hit, dude, I was in stitches. Like I remember, just like near vomiting, just the funniest thing. Specific impressions are the best ones. Yeah. Like I, th- I don't. I've, I never. I, nobody needs to see a Donald Trump impression ever again at this point in yeah. life, or any president for that matter. Really, yeah. we've already seen the best ones. But I love it. Like there was a kid in school who would do an impression of the weatherman from our town, and it was <laughs> yeah. just so good. And it yeah. was like it was really, in, it was a lot of physical comedy because it was the way he'd walk across the screen yeah. that was very funny. <laughs> like he looked because he locked like the the penguin, yeah. and uh, yeah. so it was really good. So I, I I don't like impressions, but when they're very very specific to like you and the other person, yeah, they yeah. do hit very. No, hard. I like I like I li- I I'm not gonna lie, I like impressions, but I I like what you're saying too, where it's like, damn, this is a deep cut. Only you and I will know this one. What what we like is characters. That's, I like characters because as I'm even saying, I was thinking this isn't an impression, but man, I still think about that kid I said said to you last week who uh, was able to con you guys, con your way into the dorm. By having a bunch of change in his pocket. Yeah, shout out, <laughs> shout out, Ethan. I wish I could remember his last name. Um, Threw a I, bunch of change on the ground and said, yeah. "Go." <laughs> he had he had a widow's peak, but his hairline wasn't receiving receding. <laughs> it was just like he had like a great hairline, like down to his eyebrows, but yeah. then a widow's peak also, yeah. like a Dracula. Yeah, and then he kept it buzz. Yeah, and he was a pretty short guy. He wore very baggy pants. I've already mentioned that. Yeah, he always had like a deftone shirt on, like the horniest deftone shirt yeah. you could find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, just had this way about him. Was just constantly trying to bum cigarettes. For people yeah. <laughs> that was kind of his whole vibe he was a good guy though oh man I, he just no way he finished school yeah some and of those kids are just still there dude i remember him being like really stressed out because he lived in like my hall and he was really stressed out like towards the end of the year yeah and i was like oh, bro finals dude and he's like he's like no i just realized that uh I haven't paid for school at all. Like, they're going to kick me out. And I'm like, you got all this way? They let you get to finals and they're like, now you're out? But apparently that was the deal. Damn. So I don't, I don't think he got it figured out. I don't know what he does now. He did, it was a dry it's run. Not great. It's probably not great. But he was a smart kid. He's just a, you know how like sometimes you have those friends. I mean, that's probably specific to you and I, but those <laughs> friends who were like, you look like an idiot, but they, they're they kind of smart, or at least they got a smart way of talking. Yeah. I think it was kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. where, you know no, there, I mean? were a lot, there were a lot of kids that, uh, yeah, like they were smart, but like they were backwards. This is a, I'm, I'm going to tell a story. This is uh, not a smart kid. But, you know, so it doesn't necessarily fit this bill, but popped into my head. There was this one one, uh, one kid named Brad. I won't say his last name, but I went to school with him probably for like 13 years. Just one of those kids that like, we never really hit it off, but we went to school for our entire lives together. Sure. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I remember one time he was telling us a story about we had all gotten our cars and this and that. And he was like, yeah, you know, I <laughs> hit a deer out on J Road and <laughs> chased it down and <laughs> slid its neck and threw it in the back of the trunk. Free deer free deer yeah god so that was like Ugh. that was definitely I don't like that, that but, when, but when i think about it like there were definitely some kids who like grew up in the country hunting and shit free but really deer was he normally didn't have to paying hunt for, for it didn't have to use the ammunition oh, jesus god in heaven so well thank god we made it out of there <laughs> with the later we, we did buddy don't have to hang out with those kids anymore we did we went to a place where it's the exact opposite <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah. so how was your weekend it was good dude um, woke up Saturday morning, hit Babette's. 
Oh, whoa. Yeah, well, it actually, I was didn't, saying it didn't, didn't take it take easy. Didn't take it easy. <laughs> went, went and got a pastry. I was saying we didn't. We This weekend was not a super take it easy. Yeah, uh, Saturday morning, woke up, went and got Bebets, went with uh, our Discord member. I don't know if he wants me to say his name, and his wife and Michan. So, set up shop on the rooftop, had plenty of little pastries, little coffee drinks, um, bullshitted for a couple hours. That was nice. And then did a bunch of yard work. Uh, which you love, but did a bunch of yard work. And then Sunday, went and saw Dune. Stellar. So you were right. You really did not take hey, it easy. Buddy. That's like three. <laughs> that's whole, that's three whole things, and two of them weren't yeah. at home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two that's, of the that, three that, that, items you did. That's the operative thing is when you're not at home. I also want easy. it to be noted that if you think he went to Dune in the evening, that is not the noon. case because he texts me at three and said he saw it. it's a three hour movie. I'm like, I, I like I said, I like to answer the text and I'm like, did he go to that movie at noon? I did. <laughs> what the hell is wrong? Are you a child? It Who goes sick. to a movie at noon? Well, here's the thing. Loretta came with us. Unless you're unemployed. Loretta came with us and she works. She's a bartender. So she had to work at eight. Okay. So we were like, let's get it out of the way. Some and she had to drive all let's the way. Get from it Denver. out of the way. It's a movie. <laughs> it was, it was fucking sick though let me tell you all the food we got we got a big ass already thing of popcorn. already that that it's more than one that it's more than popcorn is unacceptable oh, to dude. me but go ahead it, i will i will say machine and i looked at each other last night and we're like we gotta we gotta cool it because we were being wild with our food we got medium popcorn between the three of us medium popcorn okay so far dog. so far fine so far fine we're going downhill quick, but still, <laughs> we're still in the acceptable, somewhat acceptable. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, if I went to someone and they with them to a movie and they had a hot dog next to me, I'd be like, I'm not going to sit next to you. I'm going to sit like three rows down. <laughs> <laughs> medium hot dog, or sorry, medium popcorn, hot dog, a Sprite, a Pepsi. Then there's Cheetos popcorn. Hold, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where were you that you got a Sprite? And a Pepsi. Well, Shannon and I got the Pepsi, the Red got the Sprite, but I'm just going to go ahead and but count it all. But that's Coke products and Pepsi products. Uh, it was a Pepsi. I had a Pepsi. Then, you, I think then she it was had a Sierra Mist or whatever they had, whatever that's she, called now. Maybe she called it a Sprite. Okay, that, but you know what? Now that I'm thinking about, it, I actually think that she's more partial to Seven Up. I told you, still weird. Yeah, but <laughs> but that's not. But it's called something different now. That has like a new name. Uh, Starry. What a bad name. Starry took over Sierra Mist. Yeah, it's fine, dude. Like honestly, it's like Sierra Mist was just fine. Everything from Pepsi sucks though, except for Pepsi. Nope, that's an insane take, an absolutely insane take. I love Pepsi, dude. I told you. God, I want. I hope. I hope. I hope the Discord attacks you for this one. That is just. A, that's <laughs> an not, incorrect statement. I'm not saying that I would take Pepsi over Coke. I think that I would take regular Pepsi over regular Coke, but flavored Coke over everything else. And God bless my grandma, but we all know that part of her plight in her health was the amount of Pepsi she drank. Gold Pepsi. Gold Pepsi. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> well, for so many reasons, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but listen, listen, listen. Popcorn, medium popcorn. Then there was Cheetos popcorn, which oh, was... Oh, God. Illegal, that illegal, was Cheetos, illegal. Cheetos dust dusted disgusting. with Cheetos Absolutely in it. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. You know what? We were talking about the big theaters versus... Because I go to a theater yeah. in Boulder. It's not It's not big. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's, 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 it's very clean. It's still a nice theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah but, but it's not like... The metropolis you imagine they have you think of like a big city um, they have theater. like the the IMAX experience but it's not the it's not the like go back well I mean they're like nicer seats but it's not the I know what you're talking about yeah we, we I used, used to drive out now I don't care to anymore we used to go to the one at the we saw John Wick uh three when, was that the last movie you saw in theater no I saw Dune after that so you've so you've the last movie you saw in theaters was Dune one yeah yeah oh my god <laughs> okay sorry go go back to your disgusting this we know the drinks I've already said them medium popcorn Cheetos dusted popcorn that had oh. Cheetos in it an order of mop Ew, sticks it had Cheetos in it yeah hell yeah Chase, why buddy I'm thinking you know what I'm thinking this... that might be a new at home hack that's it was not a that's stellar. not a hack that's disgusting <laughs> it was stellar Abby does a thing <laughs> that I will say is good but I would never do it by myself if she yeah. does it I'll eat it and it's kind of good she asks for the jalapenos that you can get with the nachos you can just get those and she puts them in the popcorn and like shakes it up really it is pretty good here's the it's thing it's a little though. gross for you me got but wet it is. fucking jalapenos listen no 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 you the fucking things are covered in salt dude by the time they do they're not really you don't that notice. it's not yeah, yeah it's not really that oh my it's god because you know I wouldn't do it this, if that was yell through this wall and tell Abby what a great idea yeah love it Mm-hmm. Um, I will try that next time. Uh, mozzarella sticks, mm-hmm. uh, and Just then God, a chicken Jesus sandwich Christ. and fries. What do, you, what do you think you are? <laughs> you're at the you're at a movie theater. Where it, do you... it got to. The, I was panicking because when I was ordering, I I couldn't tell if I was ordering for just Michelle and I or the three of us. So I I I. I 
assumed that I had to have enough food to cover three bodies. I ended up eating Chase, most that's of it. A, that, that is a chicken sandwich at a movie theater. Yeah, I know. Oh. As I as I did it, I was like, "This is not right." But the, they shouldn't allow you back into that movie theater. <laughs> the amount of stuff that I had carrying in there, and then also we <coughs> the movie ends, and uh, Loretta, she like look, she goes, "Oh look, totally forgot. <laughs> I'll take this on my way out." It was a hot dog. The hot dog was sitting next to me the whole entire, and I kept thinking like, "I know she ate that hot dog. Why does it still smell like hot dog in here?" It's a three hour movie, <laughs> and you guys have consumed upwards of six thousand calories. I had I had my day's worth of calories and I won't need sodium until April. But I hate this. But, That's too many things at that movie. Thing. But I will say I learned a lesson. You don't need that much. You just need a big popcorn. I don't even get a popcorn anymore. Really? I just get a drink. I do like and the Coke freestyle machines, which used to be fun, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. now they're like it's just syrup and ice. You know what I mean? It's like there's no soda in those things anymore. I don't know if they've just <laughs> you say they come stronger. Like it, it yeah. tastes like it tastes like syrup to me. Yeah. Nothing else, yeah. and it's just not. It's too much. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm I, I might even be off that at this point, but I do I do like to get a cherry vanilla Coke uh, Coke yeah. Zero, which is yeah. pretty twisted for me. Yeah. But never more than that. Coke Zero. Every once in a blue moon, what I really like to do is I go to the Walgreens first. I get a coconut water and I get a peanut M and M's and put them in my pockets and I just do that. Of course, yeah. You get when you. I brought it. I brought coffee in there before. I just bring a little. Loretta brought her coffee. She brought her Starbucks. Nobody gave a fuck. Uh, I would have went to Starbucks beforehand had I just assumed that they don't care. I'm surprised you guys didn't have fucking egg bites and a sausage (laughs) sandwich and a fucking three Stanley mugs between the (laughs) Caesar salad that I got from every Tuesdays. Good lord. Oh man. Yeah. Applebee's to go. Yeah. (laughs) Have a picnic in this bitch. (laughs) Yeah. It was. I will say though, it was. It was a lot of food and it was. It was unnecessary. But um, here's the acceptable things at a movie theater, in my opinion. Not one time I made the mistake of getting a large drink. That's absolute insanity. Dude, it's too much. I got a medium. A medium. It, it was like the size of like a, a two X from McDonald's or something. Yeah, it's like, crazy. It, it was way too much. So you get like a medium or lower drink is okay. Yeah. If you're at a nice one, they d- that has a coffee, that's okay too. Because if you go to like not landmark, there used to be one in Chicago we'd go to that was really nice, and they had like an espresso machine. That ah, was my. That was my dream movie theater. It yeah. was it was civilized. Yeah, people acted did not behave like you did in the movie theater. <laughs> like the Beverly Hillbillies got invited <laughs> to the movie theater. Yeah, and if you get a candy, it has to come in the little box. Nothing else. Not a bag. Little box. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It only exists about. at the movie theater. Yeah. And then medium or smaller popcorn. Yeah, everything else is crazy. I, yeah, next time I go, I don't need all the other fixings. I just well, want, a, don't I want worry. a large popcorn until Dune Three comes out. You ain't going <laughs> in like back, five so, years. Yeah. No, you know what? Um. I know for, what you're gonna say. I know what you're gonna I'm, say, and it's gonna drive me crazy. What? I'm it's like, say it's like trailers. You're here, yeah, you're, yeah, you're here to drive me crazy today. <laughs> you came. You, you came into my the one thing I do in my free time and just <laughs> and fucked it up I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, that Furiosa oh, movie is gonna bang. I knew it was it. Oh, <laughs> I'm stoked. I hate those dirty, filthy movies so much. They look. I hate the way they look. It makes Dude, they me do. Feel, physically uncomfortable i want to know how because they do there's something okay similar to how like uh uh it looks good like, times it looks like or 300. uncut gems you know how like they film from far down the street so then it, the the mad max movies it feels like they record them and then speed them up slightly so the motions are like unnatural or this like, is what i don't understand like for all the things that you don't like how do you like that it looks like halloween it looks like adult <laughs> halloween yeah. come to life I just think it's badass. I like all the vehicles and shit. I like the vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> just tell the great. truth. <laughs> I just like, I can't, I can't do it. I really, yeah. I, th- those in particular, I knew it when I saw it, I was like, oh, Chase would like He's this. He's love this and shit. I, but yeah. it makes me, like the way that they're colored, like the color correction yeah. they do. Really orange. All it's this CSI stupid, Miami. It feels a little hot topic-y to me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I can't. I it, saw that first one and everyone was like, "That kicks ass." I'm like, "You guys are all out of your." You didn't mind. enjoy that a little. Oh man, you I were that. okay. All your issues with things, and you were okay with the man hanging off the front of a thing playing a, an electric guitar, like bad music. That was the sickest thing on the whole thing. When he when he shoots forward and you can't see, you his drive eyes. me. You drive me crazy. You drive me. <laughs> He's crazy. literally shaking. His- <laughs> it's like the things that I just. 
I can't. You're a little. It's like Abby, where like the things that she'll say do not correspond to the things that she does, mm-hmm. and it's like mm-hmm. you don't understand. I am a person who lives that needs rules. You set the rules. Yeah. Fine, I accept your insanity. The things yeah. you the same <laughs> sane rules you set, I accept them. But then you deviate from them, uh-huh. and it's like, what are you doing? Hey, man, Mad Max is tight, man. Ugh. I probably will be in trouble for this take, but I I really hate those movies. I hate the way they look. I, I mean, I get, I get, I hear what you're saying, but I love the world that they built. I like, I like the world. It, I, I also equally like the Dune world. Well, at least the Dune world, it, I don't know. It's okay. I don't Bro. know. It, this one, this one, this, I, I, we can get into it. Yeah, I was, gonna say, well. yeah, I was yeah. Cause I know I'll you let you go too. first. You're, no one is going to like my takes. So there, it's fine. There are co- okay. I will say this. I would like as soon as it comes out to rent. I would like to watch it again because I liked the first one more with the second watch. There are things that I think that I'm not necessarily connecting. I still have to understand. Did the you players watch the first bit. one before you went into this one? Like recently? Uh, we watched the tail end. I watched this one and then literally went to the movies like an hour later. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. So this, yeah. Jesus Christ, you put in six hours. Yeah. In the Dune universe. I had to break it up a lot because I have like a kid, so I'd yeah, like, yeah, watch a third yeah. of it and then do something and then uh-huh, a third of it, uh-huh. which is honestly fine. Um, the first one I thought was okay. They had to set I the scene. I do though, not right? like a lot. Of, first of all, I read the books a long time ago, and I was in. I was into the Dune world, and then it got like, and then I loved the like Jodorowsky's Dune. Which, have you ever seen that? The documentary about the guy no, who but, made Dune. He's like a nutcase. Uh, yeah, really yeah. cool. It was gonna. He had like all these famous people Geiger on and, and all this yeah. shit. But um, I and I'm not like pretentious about it. I think, and I honestly think the book is just fine. I'm not like a huge star science fiction guy. I yeah. think I had a moment where I was into it, but mm-hmm. it's fine. I don't like any thing like Star Wars, any of this bullshit where it's like, here's an hour of bureaucracy. Here's who keeps our taxes. Here's where we file our, here's where we yeah. write down our fake history. Here's yeah. where, and yeah. it's like, who fucking cares? Like nobody wants this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No one wants to hear the politics of a planet that doesn't exist. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to hear the politics of the planet of the, I don't want to hear the politics of the state I live in if I don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like let alone some world and then I have to like it, it. It it wants you to assume so much. Are you saying this is the first Dune? Yeah, primarily. Yeah, yeah and that was yeah. my main problem with it. I was like, we don't need another one of these. Like, just tighten up the movie making process a little bit. You know what I mean? Movies don't need to be three hours. That's fucking crazy. Oh, see, I, I disagree. Two I hours, enjoyed it. I, l- I like being in for the long haul. Then fine. The, if you're into slow cinema, fine. I accept that. You. <laughs> I just went on and on about Wim Wenders last time we were on this. Yeah. But I'm. Was that perfect days? Perfect days. I'm yeah. fine with slow cinema, but then take your fucking time. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Not every single scene needs to be filled with, and then this person signed this deed over to this person, and then this thing, but and it's like, yeah. oh, yeah. shut yeah. up. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Quit. Th- this isn't that important. Yeah. You know what I mean? We didn't need to know that much. The Bible was more succinct than this thing is. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, but, I, but aren't the books uh, quite a, yeah, they're quite a long haul. Like you sit in scenes for a long time sure. and with a lot of minute detail. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it does not visually allow you to do what you have to do that. What you have to do the brain work that this is mm-hmm, should be allowing sure, you to sure, do, sure. which I don't think it does a bad job of compared to like most science fiction. It mm-hmm. still lets you sit in scenes a little bit mm-hmm. longer and like just tonally allows them to like yeah. play out a little bit more. So I'll give it that. But at the end of the day, it's like I sometimes when these when these types of movies take themselves this seriously, it's like all right, just calm down. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. A, action movie Were, was there things in dune 2 that you really enjoyed Were there i'll parts say this you... dune 2 is better than dune 1 I no agree. question I agree. no question um, now that i know the players a little bit more too yeah. again I, th- I still think that it, i need they... to digest it again but uh, some some of that shit's dope dude the uh i guess it would be like the harkonnen who are all like don't paste- spoil it for anyone no 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 but, but the here, scene we're, where they're we're both bad about that but the scene where they're uh in their world and it's all kind of monochrome you know black and white more or, sure. or less I thought I thought so many things about that were so sick. Those I think, weird, they were in all black with like the weird heads. Yeah. You know, I just thought so many aspects of it. The worlds that were built were really cool, and you get to live in them a little bit more than I thought in Dune One. You get to a, li- a little bit more understand like what the places are like rather than setting the scene. Yeah. It gives a little bit more like useful b- backstory rather than non-useful yeah. backstory, which I would say is most of the first one. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and a lot of the stuff that they sometimes they just want you to they want things to be so epic and then sometimes it's like this isn't that big of a deal like you know his dad getting killed in the hallway it was like all right all at right. the first one, I didn't spoil it. If you didn't see it, I don't yeah. care. I mean, you know what I mean? Get to it. Yeah. yeah it, it, there needs to be less. Th- it's like six months, I think you have. If you haven't seen a movie in yeah. six months, then get to it or, you know, yeah. don't listen to things about it. Um, but the, uh, but like, it, you know, a lot of the things that like the, the gravitas that it wanted to have over and over in the first one, I was just like, meh, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And like none of the char- characters were likable. I think his mom was the most likable one. And then she kind of was a lot less likable in this one. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was sort of it. Yeah, for which me. is what I'm also still figuring out. We well, can't really get too again, much into Again, there's that, certain yeah. things where if you've read the books, it helps. Mm-hmm. I probably don't need to bridge as many gaps yeah, as you need yeah, to. Like, yeah. again, it's probably not. Now, the problem with the books is it does it, it does a lot of the this person of this person of this person. And it, it lays more out. That's actually visually probably easier to understand than them being like wanting you to assume a lot of mm-hmm, things like mm-hmm, the movies mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that this one is I liked this movie much better. Because it it didn't take itself quite so seriously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it had like training montages, you know what I mean? Which I like that's the only thing that anyone likes about any Spider Man movies. That's why they keep rebooting them. It's because we just want to see him work through the new shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you want like a human person that is working through concepts and, and feels human and yeah. real. Yeah. And this is a lot more of that, at least in the beginning. Um, so I thought it was it was good. It was it it had lighter moments. Yeah. I still think the main problem with Dune and I can't tell if it's on purpose. If somebody tells me it's on purpose, I'll let it go. Because the dialogue in the Dune books is very much like the dialogue in the movies, where it's sparse and weird, and I think it's supposed to be kind of weird. I mm-hmm. think so. Mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm going to give it that. I'm going to actually I'm going to assume that it's supposed to be. So I'll give it that. But I also think that the acting in the Dune movies is about as mid as acting can be. And it actually I had a, a thought after I le- the next day where it was like, this has tons of up, up and coming actors in it. You know what I mean? Chalamet, I mean, who is like not necessarily up and coming, but certainly like he's one of still the, yeah. building. You yeah. know what I mean? It's got Zendaya, who I got done with this movie and gone, do I like Zendaya? I want to like. I love Zendaya. I've mm-hmm. always thought I did. Mm-hmm. But then whenever I've been like outside of Euphoria, I don't know what I like her in. Mm-hmm. She she had that. I was really excited about that Malcolm and Marie movie or whatever it was that was just supposed to be like acting. You know, capital A acting, and the acting was not great. That was really the problem with the movie, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. The writing might have been a little bit of the problem too, but. I didn't really love it. Can't really think of other things I really like her in. Spider Man movies, she doesn't, she just plays a moody teen. It's not like mm. anyone, and it's over dramatic. Anyone could do that. Although I do think those movies are well written for Marvel movies, but mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. that's with a big caveat. Yeah, sure. The Tobey Maguire one was. I'm very excited to see Challengers, the tennis movie with her, because it, like she can play an adult for the first time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it until Challengers. But if by Challengers, I'm not sold, I might be off Zendaya. Interesting. I'm just not sure I get it. What do you think about. Just, Christopher Walken being in it, I He's thought that was doing so Christopher Walken. I thought the same thing too. I thought I thought the exact same thing. I was like, mm-hmm. "Damn, nobody told him to not do he this looks good thing for the thing." You know, but <laughs> yeah. but he also can't. You can't be mad at Christopher Walken, so he can't be. He can't be on a side that you're not on. You know what I mean? Like it's. It, I can't be mad at him. He can't play. No, evil. I agree. I did think it was weird that he was he was uh, the bad guy. Um, Chalamet Lawrence can't P- deliver a line to save his life. Sorry to everyone that likes him, but like the man can't deliver a line. No, but but I I, I kind of chalked. He it up. looks is good. It, is it is he doing? Is it campy? You know what I mean? Is is it being its own thing? I don't know. I'm listen. I'm far from a cinephile. I fucking watch a couple. I don't know. The Sh- Chalamet's line deliveries in these movies, I think, is really rough. Yeah. It's really hard for me to take seriously. It feels like a. It feels like I'm sorry that everyone's going to get mad at me. It feels a little like like a high school play. Yeah, his his version of like really playing to the back of the room, but like it feels fake, like it feels yeah. forced, like it doesn't feel. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's hard for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, even seasoned actors, but this is the problem. Like seasoned actors, like a Brolin though, are also kind of doing the same sort of line delivery. So maybe it's just directing. Maybe you know it's what? Writing. I'll give it that. On a little that bit. note, there was a lot more humor in this one. Yeah, a lot more of it needed. Laughs. It needed some brevity though, because that's the problem. Like, it's like some of these movies to me where it's like you take yourself so seriously, but the acting isn't there. It doesn't work then. Yeah, you can take a small movie and put great acting into it, and and it'll it'll have the heaviness. Yeah, and this this the the, the acting is the main problem. Yeah. it looks great visually. Even if if anyone just like I like the movie because I like to go and look at it. 
totally get you. Yeah. It's worth the money to yeah. go do that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It looks fucking great. It's cool. It feels big. It feels hollow. It feels like Dune. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. A plus on all that front. I just think like, I mean, Anya Taylor-Joy, I was just thinking about her because of uh, Furiosa, yeah, but yeah. she wasn't in it a ton. I also started being like, oh, yeah, why do I like her? It. I always say I like her, but other than The Witch, I'm not sure what I liked her in. And she barely speaks Oh, in that see, thing. I don't know her in The Witch. I know her in Queen's Gambit. I know her Mid- in... Uh, the menu. Was. I like the menu. Same. It was weird. I like I liked the movie. Yeah. I thought it was a fun movie. It's just a fun movie. It's, not, mm-hmm. you know, it's no. It's just it's a, fun, fun. a fun, a fun watch. Um, felt a little like it was trying to come off the heels of Parasite a little bit, but I, I understand what it, mm-hmm. I liked it in the it, Eat the Rich yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, you know, it's still a fun movie. But her acting, I wouldn't say, is stand out in that by any stretch. I think that's why I think I think it got less. I think it got played down because of her acting. To be honest with you, because it's a little flat. Interesting. The only person that's good that I think delivers lines well and is consistently has because Chalamet's I think half the reason he's considered good is because he has, he picks good projects. So shout out his managers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like he he's always in good projects. I can't think of anything Big bad he's been things, really. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like he, yeah. he 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 picks good good projects. But ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take that back. Anyone who doesn't isn't on board with me and hasn't seen his Woody Allen movie again what is could it? be Woody Allen's fault. Could you know what I mean? I forget what it's called. It sucks. It's terrible. You would not like it. Um, but maybe it's maybe it's the writing. Maybe it's just him trying to deliver what he was told to deliver. But it is unwalk. I turned it off. I mean, I and I rarely turn off movies. I got yeah. 30, 40 minutes in and was like, I cannot do this. Yeah, yeah. I can't, it's making me uncomfortable. I hate the way I, everything about it's bad. I mean, it's like a Woody Allen movie. I mean, no, normally I can, you know, fuck Woody Allen, but I can get on board. Yeah. Um, uh, but his last movies are terrible. We're way we're a way off base now. Um, Florence Pugh is great in it. She does a great Agreed. job. She's she's also good in everything that she's been in. Yeah, I, I think can't she's think cool. of anything I think she's that really she's cool. not the the star. Quite frankly, even when she's not the star, because her acting and she picks great things and yeah. she's measured Agreed. And good. Yeah. So overall, I'm going to tell you, I like the movie as a blockbuster movie. Yeah. I think it has flaws that people will overlook because it's a blockbuster movie. Yeah. Well, it's, is, it, yeah. You know, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I liked it. But I, 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 again, I come back to the thing. I just need to rewatch it to have a proper. I still don't fully. Pacing was really good. I'll yeah. give it that. C- pacing was great. I mean, yeah. considering it's a long movie, it, it clipped along just fine. I'm happy you see more of the Shai Halud thing. Like, I thought that was sick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the coolest part about Dune, too. So, so sick, it's good that dude. we spent a little bit more time there and less time watching that guy get in and out of baths. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know what I mean? And yeah. he like, it looked good the first time he rose up, you know what I mean? And then you're like, okay, he's got to do something else here because who cares at this point? You know when when they're like, we units rise and they run to the top of the hill and then just keep floating? Yeah. I thought that was badass as fuck, though, I think. It looks like scuba divers where it kind of takes a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm open to, like, <clears throat> excuse me, all the things that, like, look weird about it and stuff and, like, the aesthetics. All, I'm on board. I would say that, like, it rode the line when they were when they were in black and white. For me, of getting corny. Oh, like, see, that's where I liked it most. It's a little, it gets a little that fake gothy that I struggle with, yeah. where it's like this isn't scary to me because it's not weird enough. This isn't Suspiria. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's not movie freaky. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not quite there on freakiness. But yeah. it's you know, and again, it's it's hard because it's. I think it's hard to like judge blockbuster movies, even though they should be judged harder. But I'm like, I understand this has to like please a lot of people, and if yeah. it gets too weird, it's gonna get into different territory. And yeah. I understand, but um. We got a little when he was like licking the blade. It's like, okay, come on, you yeah, know, yeah, guy yeah. listens to a tray you. You know what I mean? Like, it's <laughs> like, come on, bro. <laughs> Austin Butler looked great, but his acting also dismal. Yeah, but but I but Terrible. again, I couldn't tell. Is it like is that the? That's where I. That's know? where I'm saying. Yeah, I'm giving yeah. it. A, I'm giving it out. I'm just being critical because it's fun to be critical. Mm-hmm. Um, that is your is, like defining trait. Is <laughs> but it is like if you just if I just cut out his like his scenes and yeah. i just showed you a montage of his scenes and i don't tell you you've never seen the movie and i say what do you think of this acting you'd be like this is seems a little forced yeah seems like he's why is he stop doing the voice oh <laughs> don't like, do the voice <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but yeah so it's a little i don't know yeah it's you know yeah. but he looked good i mean yeah. he looked weird yeah yeah what else did you do this weekend all that build up too and then towards the end you know i'm not gonna break anything but yeah. like it's a little like i don't they, that's the problem dune is good at making things big and epic and then sometimes the payoff is like, that's it? I you was surprised by it, yeah. Shit I know, to, to, I know, you know what you're mean? saying, too, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. overall, the last movie, this movie had a million of those where it's like it's a lot of build up to like 
plateau. Oh, it happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, there we yeah. go. You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. So, but the his fight scenes were good. All I think all the choreography and fight scenes and uh, set design, obviously. Well, that's mostly CGI, I would imagine. But the uh, uh, all the um, the wardrobe and you know, I will say we we excellent. watched excellent. as excellent. we were leaving. I was watching the trailers and shit, and they were crediting a lot of set design things in Hungary. So they must have filmed oh, yeah. that like Interesting. in Hungary somewhere. Yeah, it looks. It looks great. If you're yeah. looking to go see a big movie and get your money's worth, like you're gonna do that. Yeah, go do 100%. that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. Get a Pepsi. If you're going and you want to order 15 things off the <laughs> off the AMC menu, then you know. Poor kid. That poor kid that took our order, bro. He couldn't have been working there he for more than the 10 minutes that like, we stood in line. Where are those line. even at here? Where, where do we keep those? It was insane. It was it, when when we were talking to him. It was like. I could see his brain starting to putter out. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this is, you've been working here for 10 minutes, is yeah. what it felt like. And I had, I really hit him with a, <laughs> a behemoth of an order. I, uh, I, uh, made a girl's night because we were at the, you know, I was getting my drink and, uh, my one drink. Like I said, you just go by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. we have a kid, so it's yeah, easier yeah, yeah. than getting a babysitter. True, true, and true, honestly, true. truthfully, I really prefer going to the movies by yeah. myself to have my own experience and not get distracted and, mm-hmm. or, you know, worry about what anyone else is doing or, sure. you know. So I like that. And I like to go late. I, I go, I don't go to anything before 945. Yeah. That's when I like to go because there's nobody there. Yeah. It's great. So um, I went and I, I'm a, like a member of the movie theater because mm-hmm. those are, all those things are great. What I want is the AMC one, but we don't have one of those here. So it's a is the, a, the AMC would be out in Flatirons. Is that the one yeah. we would go to? It's okay too, but it's yeah. it's just I don't want to drive that far for no. It's, it's not twenty big of a from your crib, like twenty minutes. At and least. again, I always say the movies that I see are not getting put in the cool theater anyway, so it doesn't. I'm just going to go sit in the small theater yeah, they sure, have, sure, so it doesn't sure. really matter. Um, but they, I, I ordered a drink. He's like, "Oh, you're a member, blah blah blah. Let me go get you the special thing." And I was like, "Oh no, they're going to give me some weird Dune cup, <laughs> the dussy." And um, <laughs> they brought me the this like Taylor Swift cup, and they were like, "Oh, here you go." And I was like. Okay, thanks, bro. And the girl behind me goes, "You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> and I went, "What?" Because like, she was talking to me, and she was like, "Those those go for like a lot of money online. I wanted one so bad, and they were trying to charge me forty bucks last time." And I go, "Hey, bro, can I just get another one, just like a second cup, just double cup?" And this the like, stoner kid was, "Uh, yeah." <laughs> he just went and got one, and I was like, "Here you go." And she was like, "You got to be kidding me!" And I was like, "You don't understand." And I was like, "Are they like worth a lot of money?" And she's like, "Yeah," and they're worth like fifty bucks online. Yeah, sure. But. That that paid for my yearly membership. Basically. Yeah, bro, so, easy, dope. So I'll sell. I'll sell That's very kind of you. Yeah, I'm never gonna sell it. I'm probably. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna use it in all the video pods now. Yeah, but I like it, the idea that I could. Yeah, it's it's fun to have little little one twos. I feel like what I'll do is I'll keep it. This seems like something where it's like, if I wait until I'm like in my 70s, it'll be worth something because I'd be like getting a like a Led Zeppelin cup. <laughs> you know, that's weird. Yeah. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah. No, I won't. I'll throw it away. There's no, no way it'll go for me. more money on eBay during Taylor Smith's downfall. Taylor Smith. That's what Coop calls her. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. What else is going on besides us doing 20 minutes Yeah, on sorry sorry for the, the Dune talk. Um, we hadn't talked about it yet. We so. got, yeah, we, we specifically did Overall, didn't talk I'm going to say out of five stars, I'm going to give it, I'd still give it four. Yeah. No, I, I really enjoyed it. And again, as soon as it comes out to rent, I will watch it again. I just want to, I want, I need to re digest it. Now, having seen it, I'll come, I'll come back to it and I'll, I'll connect some dots that I wasn't because it's I don't, still, I don't know the universe at all. It's still better than any Star Wars movie that's come out ever. Yeah, man, so I'll say Star that Wars. right now and that yeah. they rile people up again. It's better than any like trilogy. It's better than Lord of the Rings. It's better than all that stuff. So I'll still say, I still think it's yeah. good. It's just, I still have my own issues with it. Yeah. Yeah. What it's did tough. you do anything else fun this weekend or no? <laughs> no, because I should probably get into my other yeah, thing. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> like air out what I, what I did on Thursday. Um, when I went to the hospital. Oh my God! Yeah, bro. Let's yeah. talk about it. Cause you, you know, we haven't talked. We don't even know the staff knows. I'm like fine-ish now. Well, it's like, what am I gonna do? They'll be like, hey, just just to let you know, I'm fine. But let me tell you a backstory yeah, for no reason. Yeah, yeah. Um. So on Thursday morning, I mm-hmm. do my normal shit. We get up at like six in the morning, so mm-hmm. we can take Gia because Gia goes to school early. Because mm-hmm. I, well, I don't actually. The more I think about, it, I don't understand why she goes to school so early. That gets out so early, but that's the way it goes. So. We get up early, drop her off at school, drive her to school, do the drop off, go get coffee, come back home, hang out before we. Because I was still, I wasn't feeling good enough to go to the. Because usually you guys would go drop her off, go to the gym, go to the gym, yeah. Um, and I wasn't quite feeling good enough, like from the cold situation from that. I'm like, let's just give it. I just want to finish out the week. I want to go back, but I just want to give it to the week and just make sure I've got this whatever this out of me before I start working out again. I just don't want to get it start up again. I, you know, so we go back home. 
Abby has a, just a regular doctor appointment. She's like, hey, I'm, I'm taking off. And I, I went to stand up to grab, like, I don't know what I was doing. Probably, I'm assuming I was standing up to grab the cat so the cat doesn't run outside because it wants to live outdoors. Um, <laughs> yeah. So Crazy I... I stand up and I go, oh, I am really dizzy. You know, like when you stand up quick and you're like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? It throws yeah. your equilibrium off. And then I was like, she's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I think I'm fine. I think I'm just I'm just really dizzy. And uh, so I was like, Let me, I'm going to stretch because I feel like that always helps if I like lay down and start doing stretches if I feel dizzy mm-hmm, ever. Mm-hmm. And it kind of gets rid of it. Um, and it wasn't really going when well. she's like, are you sure? Sh- should I go? And I'm like, yeah, you're fine. I was like, maybe I'm having a panic attack because I've had those before. And then, you know, sometimes dizziness is a little associated with that so i was like that's weird i don't have anything that's going on really but yeah. you know but you never know like half the time when i've had them it's like after the fact of you know what i mean being stressed out or whatever and we've had a interesting start to our year so maybe it was just catching up to me yeah, i've been busy yeah so i thought i thought that's what it might be and then so i'm like i'm like pacing around my house trying to like actively ignore it be like just i gotta call you know so if I, like what i like to do if i'm ever in that situation anxiety panic whatever it is i'll do like should I play guitar or piano or do something where I'm using my brain and body at the same time to like distract myself. Kind of like snap yourself you know out of I mean? it kind of, yeah. Yeah. So I thought that's what I'll do. That's like my thing. So it's not working at all. Like I'm actively, I'm, and the thing is about halfway through her being gone for the hour she was gone, I'm like, this is not, this is maybe worse than, I don't know what this is. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she gets home. She's like, well, I don't know what to do. This is a, it's a weird symptom to have to like, but it was, I mean, I, when I say dizzy, I mean like, I felt like I was going to, the only way I can describe it is when you get, when you drink too much and you get the spins. Yep. It, that's what it feels yep. like. It feels like you can't, as soon as you let your brain go there, it's like you, it feels like you're spinning out. So if you're walking, you'll start like veering, you know what I mean? Cause mm-hmm. it's just, you're completely off. And if you're, yeah, if you're sitting down, it feels like you're going to go through the floor. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It feels like gravity's heavy. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So, I was like, man, I can't, it's, I can't shake it. You know I mean, I really can't shake it. I don't know what it is. And she's like, well, why don't you go try to take, like, uh, I take hot baths regularly. It's like, it's like the way that I can turn my brain off the best. Is yeah. It, that's like your, that's it's one my of your thing. I've been yeah. doing it for a long time. Mm-hmm. So it's like, let me go try to do that. So I was like, I text you guys. I'm, I'm being a little bit late. I'm mm-hmm. trying to mm-hmm. work something out here. And so I'd like take a hot bath and I'm like, Ooh, it's, it, it, it was getting worse. You know what I mean? Cause I, th- and I realized since it was cause I was like laying my head back. Yeah. Um, so it was worse. So I get out, I get, I get out of the bath. I like drive, and I'm like, all right, we just need to. I need to go to the hospital. You know, what I mean, I don't know what this is, but I should go get this looked at because this is. It feels like it's escalating. Yeah. Now, I to be fair, now thinking about it, I think I gave myself a panic attack, thinking all sure, overthinking. Sure, all sure, sure, so, sure. I mean, sure. plus, like, you know, it's one of those things when something like that's getting actively worse. There's no like take some ibuprofen or like you know, what I mean, lay down. And it's, it's not like, something it's you just, deal with regularly. Yeah, no, no, no. You know? So I'm like, shit, dude. Like, I can't drive like this. I can't go to work like this. I'm like, I can't. I feel like I can't sit still but mm-hmm. i also can't move really so i go to the doctor i'm now in full panic mode because i'm at, also at the doctor which i don't love being course, a doctor course, yeah. I've had, that's been going on for a long time it just makes me really anxious yeah um and they look at me and they're they have me do all these weird tests like stand up sit down touch this do this do blah 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 and they're like it's really weird like you don't you're fine you know like your eyes are following you're not having any other things and they, so let me do this other thing where they're like, look this way, look this way, look down, look up. And when it looked up, I was like, that's when it's happening. Like, it's getting like, when, it, when I looked up, I felt like I was going to fall down. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So I'm like, whatever it is, it's like, that's the balance piece that's really off that's, for yeah. me. So they go, here's the thing. The only way we can kind of move forward is if you want to do a CAT scan. And I was like, all right, well, and me immediately being like, well, I don't need, I don't need to do that. That's too much. <laughs> Let's just get out of here. It'll go away on its yeah, own. This guy's yeah. saying I'm pretty much okay. And he was like, Sir, if you came all the way here, it's obviously bad enough that you should have this looked at just so that at least you don't go home and spin out yeah. wondering what it is. Yeah. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And they're like, cool. And then they just like instantly, because the Boulder hospitals, are just, there's not much going on there. So you like, go to any, one, it was down on Arapaho, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Where, where Gia was born. Mm-hmm. And like yeah, when Gia yeah, was born, there was no one else even on the hall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've never been there and it's been busy, um, which is nice, but it's also like, Early, immediately just like, all right, cool. Here's this in your arm. Here's this IV. Here, we're doing all this. And let's walk right back here. And I'm like, oh, this is like very overwhelming. There's no like break points and everything. <laughs> yeah, no to digest it. Yeah. And they're like, hey, we're going to stick this stuff through you. Might, you might pee yourself. Might not. Who knows? <laughs> and I'm like, that's not funny because I don't want to pee myself. <laughs> and I don't bring a change of pants. Yeah. And they, he's like, all right, so, you know, it's going to shoot you in and out of this thing. And then they immediately like, it's like the people from the CTA coming on the, uh, the, the thing to make an announcement where it's like, you know, like, don't breathe, don't do this. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, when you're in the yeah, apparatus. Yeah, I'm like, what the yeah. hell? Because they didn't tell me they were going to, someone was going to, a robot was going to start yelling at yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. 
jam me in and out of this hole for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, all right, go back. And then we'll just bring your results in. And then they, then they left me in there for a while. So now I'm really spinning out. Because they also, Dude. like I said, they laid me down. And I, as soon as I went to lay down, I said, I have to be like laid down. And they're like, yeah, I'm like, that's like my main thing that's right what now. makes it worse you know what I mean? yeah. um so i'm in there just going through it dude you know what i mean like the whole room's spinning and i'm like i'm just gonna let this happen i don't think you die from being dizzy so just power they seem through. to be okay yeah. with it um i get up takes me I, I get back to the room and then then i wait a while to figure out what it is luckily it's nothing there's and it's actually kind of nice to know now that like they took all my vitals they checked a bunch of stuff i've had my full head examined and i I'm all good. I You're don't good, have anything yeah. going on. Nothing's no block. They were worried there was a blockage in the back because they couldn't figure out why it would be up and down, but not. Yeah. Because normally, if you have like an infection, that's which is ultimately what this is, it would kind of get all sides, so it'd kind of be everywhere. Mm-hmm. And it's not the negative. It, there's a ver- worse version of an infection where there'd be a bunch of other symptoms, and I don't have any other symptoms. It's literally just that. Yeah. And then any lingering cold cough or whatever yeah. I have left over, because of a little junk left over. But they think it's just the infection. And this, whatever this sickness is that I got, that we all got, this is like, I've had every different symptom under the sun. And it like each week is a new thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So this is like the symptom this week, which I thought I was done, but I'm obviously not. So I have like an infection in my some kind of ear canal that affects the fluid that is up and down. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Um, so they reset my crystals. That wasn't it. So it's like a whole, and I just have to work through it. I will say today I am like 75% better than I was on Thursday. Yeah. Um, still not a hundo though, huh? Still a little yeah. wobbly, but not yeah. bad. I think some of it's, I'm in my own head still. Cause it's, it's like, very disorienting thing because the other thing is once you start feeling a little bit better you forget about it because you just kind of start mm. you know what i mean and then you'll go to do something and, and then it like, hits you oh, and you're like Jesus. oh i thought you know i was I mean? through this or yeah, yeah yeah so i'm definitely feeling much better i think that by like midweek i should be totally fine um because they said it just needs to work itself out at this point there's not really yeah. much else you can do i'm going to go to an ear nose and throat but I, it's, it's going to take a forever because it takes forever yeah. to get into one so if you're still considering you should might as well set up the appointment now because it's not going to be a, mine's not i set up a of, request for uh i set up a request for an appointment i, I send my email april. in and so yeah. i gotta wait april yeah. yeah so we'll see i'm still gonna go and just have it checked out but yeah. i'm mostly gonna go because i want them to cl- i want them to professionally clean out my ears more than anything yeah. else in the world yeah. so if i'm already gonna go and get this checked out i'm gonna see if they'll also oh, what i yeah. want is you ever seen online where there's like this system where they hook up to your ears and then it's like some, it's like a wash, it like spins out, and then so much stuff comes out. I want to see if they have that. I don't know where you go I, to get that, I'm but I want you. that. I'm with you. I would love, I would love to uh, one to have my shit clean, but I also want to know about why. Well, I you've can't got, breathe, a, you've you got know? a legitimate thing. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, this is apparently just going to go away, and it's like normally something that affects much older people, but not this time. It affected me. Yeah. So. Well, I'm Here glad you're are. okay, buddy. It was a little, yeah. it was a little worrisome. I was like, I don't know. No, I mean, Everybody's like, hey, are they, are they coming? I was like, I don't know. Chris goes, am I good to call Timbo? And I said, let's just, let's just not. Well, because I thought I was having <laughs> when I texted you, I was like, look, I'll just be transparent with you. I've known you a long time. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm having a panic attack yeah. or, a, or an anxiety attack. Um, so I was like, don't make it a big thing. There's no yeah, reason to. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean, I'm not. I'm fine. It's just going through something. Yeah. Um, but it, it obviously wasn't that. So I don't know. It's fine. Yeah. But it's like it was like an annoying thing to deal with and. Well, obviously very stressful. On the on the note of breathing and getting better and this and that, we have a special guest tomorrow as well as a package arriving for us tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you're listening to this, we uh, we have a buddy of ours coming on, and you know him from the Discord, but we'll leave it at that. He's, he's just we our have buddy. a bunch of we have a bunch of like interesting and good guests, like kind of outside of what we normally do and stuff coming in the next few weeks. Yeah, that we've booked and we just need to like edit and. Oh, and then obviously, sorry about Thursday pod. That was that, that was yeah, on so me. So that's the reason yeah. the pod didn't come out. So this sorry. we're recording this on Monday. It comes out tomorrow, Tuesday. So when you hear this, yeah. So we'll start having yeah. we'll start having. It's like the next three guests are killers, and then we got some other things that we're waiting that are big guests too. So yeah, and Much we cool really are trying to be better about the scheduling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just gets it, on top it's, of it's, us. Yeah, it's, it's hard. We don't have a massive team yeah. here, and a lot of the time it all happens at once, and we have to get on top of it. So well, we're already like running low on time. Why don't you tell them what's new in this week? Um, things that will be hitting the website will be East Log. East Log will be hitting the website. That is our first season. Uh, they're from Korea. It's dope. If you like EG, you like East Log. Peep that. Pretty big collection for our first collection, uh, first season rather. And uh, it is all here except for a couple of pieces. Um, we have Camille Fortunes going online. Is that already online? 
That's online, yeah. Camille is already online. We have a new brand, Bardo. If you remember the pod, we had the Kyles on from from Bardo. Yeah, we'll they dropped this off way. on Friday. Dropped off the product. Graham is shooting it today. We'll get that online as well. I know some of the Discord people were excited about that. Um, that shit rules. It's really sick to think. Uh, manufactured right here in Denver. He brought the boxes by. All fits cool. I threw on a couple pieces on Friday. I think I might 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 shoot that. So um, excited to kind of style that out and see. We have. We received a shipment of engineered garments, we have work shirts, and we have painter pants. We have not had the painter pants from EG in a while. Last time, I believe, would have been spring, summer 19, or maybe spring, summer 20. Me and Coop both bought a pair of the, they were the patchwork painters, so they had cord, double cloth, rip stop, uh, twill, herringbone, they were all patchworky. Hey, I ultimately did sell them. Um, I think this season is much this season's fit of the painter pant is much stronger, and uh, I just bought a pair of green ripstop FA pants from our boy Aaron, and had I not done that, I would have copped the painter. So when the FAs come, I might also cop the painters in the green ripstop. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm importing story this afternoon. We're getting a restock you missed, of Libero. You two huge ones. Big ass beams. Oh, we got a massive Big beams ass plus and, and Hirago. Yep. Yeah. Beams plus is shot. No, it's... Yeah, I think it's shot. Throughout this week, you should There's see it. There's a you, lot of yeah, stuff. You should, yeah, you should see it. So just keep... Just, yeah, we, you will obviously plug it. We had like a little bit of a... World. Uh, a, a we got stopped up shooting product due to some internal things that we were figuring out operation-wise. So we got on top of it, Grambo shot a lot of product. He was here late Friday, and it should all be getting published and, and, and pushed this week. But. Yeah. But and we also we've got I think there was like a couple new shoes in there. There's some MM6 that came. There's Marnie. <clears throat> There's... Uh, some Hoka's. One yeah, we had, we drop. just we did the drop, drop on Friday. Drop we have week. another one. Yep, another tour releasing this Friday. So we'll do, we'll uh, we'll do that little one two to the Patreon. We got, oh, we have something else happening, Brando. We have warehouse sale. Mm. We're gonna do digital access to warehouse sale for Patreon members on, on Patreon. Wednesday. So. Uh, more details to come, but if you are listening to this on Tuesday, digital air ha- warehouse sale goes live tomorrow, Wednesday. Only gonna, it's only going to happen through Patreon. We're thinking it might get moved up. Might get moved up. Might do it Tuesday. Is that what we're going to talk about after this meeting? Because we maybe yeah, I haven't so, decided yet. Tuesday or Wednesday. As far as I'm concerned, I can we can run it whenever. No, so, yeah. but anyway, that's happening this week. Um, if you're not part of the Patreon, we're doing a lot of shit with it. I, I think you're going to find, especially if you're already in there, it kind of pays for itself if you order once every couple of offers. You know what I mean? You you make your you money back. You made your money back already tenfold. if you wanted to. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Hop into Patreon if you haven't already. Patreon.com slash Shop Canoe Club. What else, bro? CDG, CDG Perfume is coming-ish, but they don't really send us tracking. It mm, just arrives when it up. comes. So. I mean, there's stuff. And then we're, you know... Don't worry about it. You're going to have a lot to dig through before the next round comes, yeah. but I would say that there is another round coming right after that. It's just that time of year, so it'll be a lot of new stuff kind of all the time now. Yep. Yeah. So that's exciting. Um, anything else going on? We're just busy, man. Thanks just for everyone that stuff, ordered yeah. merch. There's still a little bit Oh, left. yeah. The merch, yeah. the merch got a lot of love. I'm wearing the Family Mart hat today. Um, the it, This has become my new identity hat, if you will, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. So it's just the hat that I wear every day. Hey, I got a I got a request for anyone listening that's listened to this far, so we're only going to get the heads now. Here's what I'm looking for. Let me describe what I'm looking for, and I cannot find. And you know that yeah. this is obviously what I've made my life around. Part of it's probably just me being lazy to a certain extent because I already have to do this for work. But I want like a brown linen shirt. Yeah, I want it to be a little bit boxy. Okay, I want the linen to be heavy, like butcher linen mm-hmm. or something, so it can like I can wear it a lot. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And it's not a problem. I cannot find this thing Buddy, that I've made I, I, up in my head. I've got, I've got, I've got them for you already. Go ahead. Canori or James Coward? Can't find a Canori one that's right. Yeah. I don't like the flat pockets. So if you, someone can find me a Canori one that's not flat. You don't pockets, like the pockets on the front. I don't like the flap pockets. Flap. He does yeah. that flap no, pocket. I, I don't like that, especially in linen. It's going to get weird and it just makes it look I, look little titties. I, I can't do it. <laughs> so I, I don't want that. But yeah. if they can find me one that doesn't have that, I'm still yeah. open to pockets. I just don't want that type of like, yeah. you know, I'm talking about that flap, the inside I know pocket what you're saying. Thing. Yeah. Um, I've looked there. James Coward, I probably should look harder at. That's kind of, that's expensive stuff, right? Yeah. It's not cheap. Yeah. I'm not really worried about price. I want one. I know what and I know what, what it is right in my now, head. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just need 
I need it. Yeah, I know. What but you're I can't saying. find it. Yeah, yeah. So if anyone, if I mean, Kenori was the first thing I think of. I could think, I could think I of the yeah. shirt right now. But yeah, I found like a flannel one that someone was selling used, but I also wasn't sure about sizing, and I wasn't sure if I wanted it to have a pattern or not. So I couldn't. I didn't settle. Yeah. On it. So I mean, you might, you could find something in that realm from Le Mer. Not from, we don't have that piece. I, I looked so. a little bit because that was like an obvious one for me. And yeah. I just wasn't, fi- I mean, that's the thing. Maybe I just haven't been looking hard enough. Yeah. But if someone knows one like off rip. What what spawned this thought for you? I don't know. Just 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 kind of. I just, I, I've kind of sort of wanted this for a while. And yeah. I can't find one that like hits for me. You know, in, you know the type of brown I'm looking for. It's like a chocolate brown. I want it to look nice. If I wore a black shoe with it, it still makes no, sense. I feel you. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know what, what I'm looking for. Yeah. I think this is like a, it's like a summer look for me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but I just can't find. I know what it is in my head, yeah. but I don't know how to like. I can't locate it. Yeah. So if anyone's got suggestions, you just ping ping me, and you know, you know, you know where to at me at True Religion Booty Man. <laughs> you know how to get a hold of me. True Religion Booty Man. Um. All right. Anything else? I think I think we're good, man. We got a lot. We got a lot going on this week. Expect to hear from me in Discord quite a bit. And. Like yeah, we got a pretty long guys, drop us some fucking voice too. messages. I don't know if people are afraid what the because hell's we're going gonna to like. On, you soft asses. Yeah, Wait, what dude, the fuck? Dude, give them a prompt. Give them a prompt. I, What's the prompt? I did give them a prompt. It was just tell us either. Uh, fuck, I forget what the prompt was. I typed it out in the Patreon newsletter. Maybe it's because it only went to Patreon. Yeah, I'm going to redrop it. Yeah, someone drop us a voice message. Come on, it'll be fun. We've dropped it in Instagram and shit at this point, too. It's like, guys, just... I, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, too. <laughs> You're my dumb ass. You can both tell it's us. Because <laughs> we both sound the same. All right. Um, all right. Um, all right, cool. Well, n- great pod coming Thursday, too. Check that out. If you're not on Patreon, I would highly recommend, especially this week, jumping in there. Yeah. Um, you know where to find us elsewhere. We got like if if they're all those brains pique your interest, we've got walkthroughs coming out. Yeah. Uh, we got the if you like the podcast and again aren't on the Patreon, we just dropped the video podcast yep. and it's a if you guys wanted Buck Wild, we gave it to you. It's just so you know really I mean? we're delivering on everything stories. we said. So <laughs> um anything else? Is that everything? I think that's about it, bro. All right. Well, wonderful. Well, I have to go talk to Margella. I have to talk to Margella himself. Ooh, get Imagine. Martin on the horn. He's he's behind one of those like curtains, like he's like he's a witness in witness protection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Voice change. Yeah, yeah. Just for a just for an MM6 meeting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes out for just that. All right. Well, off to the races. All right, buddy. 